Hello. Hello. We are Michael Hill Jr. and Ita Menno. We're looking forward to working with you to deepen the impact at CCTV, Center for Media and Democracy. Thank you for accepting the invitation to engage in CCTV's uh, reflective and transformation process. Much of your contribution to this effort will be essential in the organizational transformation at a time when performative change is no longer sufficient and a deep desire for authentic accountability has to, has to be more than just a promise. Um, we are looking for your support as we gather together um, groups of small groups of people to deepen our analysis of this organization's history, current culture, with a hope to uh, understand the direction and the culture of the future. We want to actualize and integrate social justice that's in the heart of a lot of users and, um, and into the principles of CCTV's work. This is our introduction to the work we're hoping to complete this winter, as well as a little more on who we are as facilitators and coordinators of this work. When you're done, after watching this video, we're hoping that you review and complete an attached waiver with other materials that outlines the content of what will and will not be shared with others from our one-on-ones and our small group interviews. We want to share with you very explicitly and in transparency, we won't be disclosing anyone's names or any descriptive information from participants. So the conversations we have will be confidential. We will disclose messages, themes, and stories we cultivate from our one-on-ones and our small groups of participants to create suggestions, strategic guidance, points, and overall illustrations of the current climate of CCTV. Thanks, Mike. Um, we want to, we're also gonna be attaching a doodle poll in, um, in one of the attachments that we want to ask you to use to sign up for a small group session that you can join with either Mike or myself. Um, just indicate which day's work. Um, pick two or three, but we're only asking you to come to one session. Um, if none of the dates work for you, email me and uh, let me know so that an additional date can be arranged. We know that there are many ways that you could be spending time, um, energy, and your thinking. So we're really grateful that you're going to be set, spending it with us as we build CCTV um, into the future. Thanks, Ida. Yeah. And you can email either one of us if you need to reschedule. So we have some questions where we're going to ask ourselves, <laughs> but we're going to be, <laughs> be able to tell you a little bit about ourselves and some other aspects about the project. So I'll start with who I am. My name is Michael Jr. I use he, him, his pronouns. I have been in Vermont for 18 years now. Um, some folks may recognize me or know who I am. I'm proud and very fortunate to say that I am the founder and sole proprietor of EJH Futures LLC, who is co-collaborating on this project with CQ Strategies Ida Menno. Um, I am also very proud and fortunate to say that I've been involved in the community for multiple years in different ways, restorative practice ways, youth, youth and young adult empowerment ways, community engagement and empowerment ways. So I'm looking forward to doing this project and assisting CCTV and its staff members and its community members that engage with the entity overall. Awesome. Thanks, Mike. My name is Ita. I use the they series of pronouns. Um, a little bit about me. I like to grow things inside and outside, and I like to work on projects, but I'm a 70% project completer. So there's a lot of almost done projects all around the house. Um, I have um, three children who are still in this community and um, and uh, an amazing partner, and we do a lot of stuff, and you've probably seen us, many of you have seen us in and around the community. You know, the last time I was in here, I was doing a presentation 
with the mayor about <laughs> the impact of lead paint on mm -hmm. in rental housing. It's very exciting to be here again to do something that um, that I also care, something else that I care passionately about. So, Mike, let me ask you a question. <laughs> PSAs, public service announcements, are foundational forms of communicating information, knowledge, and engaging with the community. Can you share a time that you were able to participate in a PSA that benefited the community? Well, thank you, Ida, <laughs> to me that question. Um, as Ida just actually talked about, um, they did a PSA with the mayor about lead paint. I, the last time I did a PSA was actually in the space as well. And it was around doing community engagement and healing work around um, combating the access, the, the increase of vaping for our youth and young adults. So I remember doing that as a PSA, I wanna say almost seven years ago, maybe. So, and, and it's still, it's always, a novel experience, a humbling experience to be in front of the camera. <laughs> Let me ask you a question, Ida. Um, how do you wish information was communicated, conveyed, or offered? Oh, that's a good question. Um, I, so information like news, but also more than news, like just yeah, kind of any information. Yeah, yeah. I really like to consume information um, in short bursts. I don't really have a desire or an attention span for for um, long videos. So I like these like short bits that can link me um, to a longer bit of information if I wanted to dive in there. So, but also, yeah. I don't like to watch long videos, um, but I also will read long articles. Um, so I like uh, short videos, short sound bites, but I'm willing to kind of dig into um, to long form writing okay. uh, for information. So those are my preferred ways. But um, but my um, favorite way to receive information is um, is I don't want to say gossip, but definitely, <laughs> but definitely like this one on one uh, conversation and in the community through, uh, through dialogue and discourse, you know, with a little bit of gossip. Okay, all right. Yeah. Well, uh, I, I, I do think this question is important, so I'm gonna ask this question. Will participants of the project be compensated? Yes, they absolutely <laughs> will. For folks who aren't employed um, directly by CCTV, um, we'll make sure that folks get compensated for their participation in these focus groups. Absolutely. Great. Awesome. Yeah, we really respect and consider your time precious, so we want to make sure that you're being compensated for it. And you're thinking. Yes. Yeah. Thinking. Thank you. Great question. Um, let's talk a little bit about how this project will work. Okay, great. Yeah. Um, I think the first important piece is as you see this video and really take it for what it is, it is an invitation and an introduction. We are pacing ourselves to be organic in developing trust and cultivating uh, opportunity for the voices that we need to hear to get the, the bigger picture, to feel comfortable coming to the table to do this work. And so that's one component of this project where you, the invitation is there. So if you don't want to engage in this project, um, or the process of this project, you don't have to. And even when choosing to engage with this project, um, you are going to sign a waiver, you are going to choose a time that's more comfortable for you and choose which one of us you would like to engage with. So there will be a component for one-on-one -on -one conversations and there will be a component for small group conversations. Um, and during those conversations, we will take notes and gather themes and, uh, and aspects that might come up in the one-on-one -on -one in the small group conversations and then compile that information as, as qualitative data. And then we're gonna use that data that we gather from these one-on-ones uh, -on -ones and small groups and we're gonna create um, a survey, um, kind of a climate study for the users 
um, and patrons of CCTV and, uh, and uh, send it a little bit more broadly so that we can gather even more information mm -hmm. um, from that. And then we're going to use the uh, results of that survey to create a list of, of recommendations and reflections reflections and recommendations <laughs> on, on uh, how work has been done, um, how, how we say work has been done here, um, and how the work does or doesn't fit up with how we say um, we want it to go, if that makes sense. Great. Thank you, Ida. Yeah, of course. Teamwork makes a dream work. <laughs> um, so the last question I have is, who will this project benefit? We, I think, I, I don't like speaking for other people majority of the time, or generally, but I would, I feel comfortable speaking for Ida in, in, in this answer. This project will benefit everyone who is involved and engaged on a community level and um, as an employee um, or employer at CCTV level as well. Um, the center, CCTV, the Center for Media and Democracy, is um, so is sorry. a community, is a, a strong community partner in engagement and democracy, and has been as long as I've been uh, working in this community. So almost twenty years now, and um, and we want uh, we want it to continue to be one of the cornerstones. And in order for it to do that. We need to be able to have uh, free discourse mm -hmm. uh, uh, and grapple publicly with these questions of, of First Amendment and, um, and inclusion. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I think that that's a really important thing, particularly in, you know, winter, fall of 2023. I think that we're seeing all around the world uh, this conversation of, where First Amendment, or our First Amendment rights and inclusion really are coming uh, to a loggerhead. And I think that we're in a position right now, and the Center for Media and Democracy right now is in a position to, to really want to engage with the community in that conversation. And I think this is that opportunity. So if folks want to participate in that conversation with us, again, uh, again please uh, fill out the links uh, that you'll be receiving along with this video. Um, sign up for one of the 90-minute uh, small group sessions. And if you can't, if that doesn't fit your schedule, email uh, Mike or I, and we'll find some other time to kind of sit with you. Yeah. And I'm so sorry, my phone is going off. It's, that was a, this, the weird noise that you hear. <laughs> it sounds like a peanut character. Charlie Brown, that's who I'm referring to. All right. <laughs> Thank you. I think that's it. Yeah. Thanks, right? everyone. We look forward to meeting with you and talking to you.